Yes. So what are the repercussions for a South African mm. who assists a loved one? A loved one. Um, what, what does our law say mm. about assisted yeah. dying? The, the law is exactly the same. If you help assist a person to die, you have broken the law and you face um, arrest and conviction. Can you give us mm. examples of countries where this isn't the case, where assisted dying mm. is recognised legally? In Europe, the Netherlands and Belgium have quite liberal laws, uh, more related to euthanasia or voluntary euthanasia. And indeed, Switzerland has a similar law. You might be familiar with the Dignitas clinics. In America, there are five, uh, four states which have an assisted dying law, very similar to the one we want to introduce here. And in Britain, in the House of Lords on Friday, Mandela Day, they will be debating and possibly voting on a bill for assisted dying. Again, a very similar bill to the one we want in South Africa. Can you speak us through this particular bill that Dignity SA is hoping to see come to fruition in South Africa? Sure. There are uh, several very precise criteria. One, it must be the person's free choice. And freedom of choice is a hallmark of our humanity. Secondly, the person must be of a sane state of mind. Thirdly, they need to be terminally ill and facing death within 12 months. And fourthly, these criteria have to be checked by an independent panel. We're recommending that the patient's GP and their oncologist to make sure that the, all the conditions are met, that they made the free choice, they're terminally ill and of a sane state of mind. <clears throat> so Dignity SA would try and put measures in place. This isn't something that would be completely unregulated, no, for no, instance. No, it, it would be passed through Parliament and, and very tight regulations attached to it. Indeed, there is potential for abuse and we have to make sure that doesn't happen. It'd be very tightly regulated. Sean, how mm. far are we from seeing this become a reality? Well, when you're seeking a law change, you have to be prepared for the long haul. We are prepared for the long haul, but when we get support from Desmond Tutu, we think we've maybe shortened that long haul quite considerably. We're extremely grateful for his comments, especially for highlighting the fact that it is a human rights issue. It kind of moves it a little bit away from the religious debate. This is about human suffering, and that is human rights. And I think most people would support human rights.